David Brenner, Gilbert, what are you doing here? We Get slept together home. last night. We got up this morning. We said, I said, look, I'm going over to do Howard. Gilbert said, well, I think I'll just have breakfast and leave. I said, why don't you come with me? And what do you think? Who's, well, that's a, that's a pretty realistic uh, <laughs> invitation, you know, but see, first of all, he doesn't quite get, uh, he doesn't quite get the nasal tone down. And so I think it should really work on it because, because it sounds a little bit like me, but I really don't want uh, to catch See, I'm not sure character. who's Gilbert and who's David. <laughs> yes, because I think Gilbert, if, if that's Gilbert, he's sounding more like David than David. Yeah. You know, the other day on the phone, David didn't sound like David. <laughs> I didn't call you the other day on the phone. You didn't uh, exactly. I, I knew it. Been Gilbert. I knew it was. <laughs> you didn't tell me you called him the other it didn't even sound like you. Hey, buddy, listen. Let me just practice telethoning here for a second. Yeah, go ahead, Billy. Yeah. All right. You be the kid in the wheelchair. <clears throat> you ever do any telethons? Yeah. Which one did you do? I did uh, Jerry. I did a bunch of them. Jerry Lewis is the, you know, the, the big one, and then I did some small gigs. Didn't you, you know, used to be a local like host? Toes and things like that, huh? You ever do that local hosting thing of a? No, I got locked out of one telethon with. Uh, uh, like me. No, I did. With R R Rivaldo Herrera. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Rivaldo Herrera? Yeah, Rivaldo Herrera had a talk. David can't even be bothered with him. <laughs> no, I had a talk. His name. In those days, I smoked cigarettes, and, and I went out to catch a smoke before they gave me a seat to call, you know, with the phones. I went out, and the guard didn't know me. Yeah. He's going, hustle, hustle, hustle. I said, no, I'm, I'm here. He said, well, you got, got a badge, badge. I said, I don't have a badge. I'm on a talk. He wouldn't let me back in, so I went home. No, and it was Geraldo Rivera's telephone? Yeah, it was, yeah, he was like the local chapter for Jerry Lewis. Or You're not know. friends with him anymore, are you? I, I'm, I have nothing against him. I was never friends with him. I'm not friends with him. No, just the way you didn't remember his name. I don't remember a lot of people's names. Geraldo Rivera. <laughs> <laughs> you know, then I know. Rivera. There's something going on there when, you know, <laughs> David, that's dissing the guy, you know, it's like Geraldo Rivera. <laughs> <laughs> you look good. Yeah, I'm feeling good. How hey, you, you look real good. Thanks. You look real good. Well, you don't look real good. You look good. All right, let's talk to David Brennan now. That was Gilbert. Uh, <laughs> right, David, how are you? I feel great. I really? Feel great. <laughs> is that really you, Robin, or is that Gilbert? <laughs> I'm doing Gilbert today. All yeah. right, I want to practice yeah. telethoning, though. Yes. Sammy yeah. screwed up. You know Sammy? Sammy who? Davis, Jr. Oh, I don't know him by first name. But have you interviewed Sam him and stuff? Yeah, I know Sammy well, yeah. You do? Yeah, yeah, sure. I didn't think he was a good host. Did you watch the telethon? No, I didn't watch the telethon. I don't think he did well. I mean, I know he raised the money. But I think that money See, would. What is the bottom line, man? But I'm saying <laughs> he didn't do that good. Here's the way Sammy should have done it with the kids. Cause when he, Billy, you be the kid in the chair. Okay. All right. You ready? But do it with your funny voice. Okay. Okay. There you go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> walk through a cloud, hold a All right. That's the voice. Okay. Here we okay. go. You know, let me let me get serious. I don't care. Okay. Let me get serious. Was Alto there? No, Alto no. was having a birthday party that Sammy didn't attend. Let me really? Yes, because he was working the telephone. It's not right. It's, that's, uh, hey, I met some girl who was sleeping uh, with you for about three months. Really? Yeah, you know they're starting to pop up. They're starting to pop up as if I've it, been keeping it in marshes somewhere you, in Florida. You got to keep <laughs> it in your pants, my friend. <laughs> I'm telling you, you got to be uh, careful. Yeah, because they all pop up. Sure, they all pop up. Everything pops up. She said you <laughs> were didn't pop up. You wouldn't have. She girlfriend. said you were good though. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you, you asked such questions. There was a, like, over a <laughs> cocktail. I mean, it was a real fun. Let's have dinner, and what do you think of Brenner in bed? Is that what she said? A... She had you for a couple of months. Are you oh, kidding? Right. We had her on the air interview. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> I'd call her a long distance runner. <laughs> Actually, we didn't have her on the air because she no. said he was good in bed. If we could find one that didn't like him in bed, then that, that, that would be interesting. Oh, that would be really good, yeah. See, yeah. Gilbert, he gets tons of women. Oh, so does Gilbert. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's. Uh... You just go. Hey, do you know anything about Gilbert's private life? Does Gilbert get Gilbert's women? a bandit. Really? Oh, Forget about it. Man. He's got a big, big penis, Gilbert. No. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and this is another person speaking about Gilbert, so... <laughs> but, but Gilbert's babes seem real good at keeping secrets, you know? Yeah. <laughs> David's girls go running around, yeah, oh, yeah, I had them. Yeah, a good couple of months. I think Gilbert clubs them over the head. <laughs> they never come out alive. I don't club them over the head. David clubs them over the head. I never club them over the head. <laughs> I don't club them. I show them my jacket. They get impressed. They go with me. That's the mm. end of the story. <laughs> <laughs> Let everybody yeah. do David Brenner impressions, and then nobody will know who's talking. David says that doesn't sound like him when Gilbert does it, but I think it does. It's a little exaggerated. David but, uh, says I don't sound like this? No, David. You say you don't. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, David? Because I think, I think that I sound like him. I mean, listen to me right now. Don't I sound like him? I haven't seen you in... When you do, you do. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs>
See, when you hear the real David Brenner, you realize how exaggerated yeah. it is. <laughs> when you haven't shown up on the and, show in a but while. the thing is, see, I started to think, because David hasn't been here for long, the only David we've heard is Gilbert. <laughs> I, I started to think Gilbert was David. And then when we were talking to, I swear, when we were talking to David on the phone the other day, I, I said, is this someone doing David? Because it really, because it wasn't like a... <laughs> It's like you were too clear, you know? Yeah. Yeah. This is like the bad Mike Douglas show, Nightmare, where they used to have five guests doing James Mason. <laughs> All right. All right, Billy, just oh, stick oh, to... Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Billy, oh. just stick to being uh, the guy in the wheelchair. Oh, oh. All right, this is what Sammy should have done, I think. He should have said, you know, I'm here with my good friend, little Stephen Jenkins. I don't know, I'll give him a name, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, right. And uh, how long have you had muscular dystrophy? I've had muscular dystrophy uh, seven and a half years, Mr. Uh, Davis. Mr. Davis, can you not, wait, 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 wait. You, see, you, each, should, and, you should say things like, how long have you been in that chair? Well, wait a second. I'm getting warmed up, Robert. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like Gilbert's David Brenner impression. <laughs> What's wrong with my impression? I still don't get it. So anyway, it's... This guy doesn't cool. sound like he's in a chair. It's a bad impression. He sounds like he's standing doing this. <laughs> My impression of Brenna's great. This girl was so good she... looking that you got. Yeah. She was so cute. Forget about it. Well, when have you seen a girl that he got that wasn't good looking? Each one is better than the next. <laughs> but, like, he only had her a couple of months. And then she was, like, sort of like one of those Staten Island types, you know. It was like, you know, oh, David's got a really good art collection. Oh, <laughs> you know what that. I mean? Yeah, yeah, you know, like, yeah. What a life you're living. Jesus. Yeah, it's rough. They're going to have a telethon for me. Yeah. God. Well, Sex. this can't last forever, David. Come on, you got to slow down at some point. Even you, Hefner, got married. Damn, I so. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen back. We had David and Gilbert back in the same little green room there. Uh-huh. Gilbert's on his knees sniffing Brenner's fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Come on, Gilbert, get away from me. Get, 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 someone, kick him away from me. Just he's, get away from my fingers. He's thumping my leg. And Gilbert's like, please just let me smell your fingers. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Brenner, Brenner came in, his fingers were there. <laughs> he, came with the, he came with his fingers. How could you miss the smell of those fingers? <laughs> the guy walked in with his fingers. What am I supposed to do? But anyway, Sammy sh should have just been oh. kind of like, you know, hey, you know, let me say something. Like he now. knows the kid. Yeah, from my heart. I have known this young gentleman, and he is such an inspiration to us all. And thank God, I said to Alto the other night, thank God, thank God for all of the healthy children in this world. Now, hey, you know, you see me, I'm a dude with gold rings all over my fingers and gold chains. And I have my gold, and I have my nice things in my life, and I thank God for them. Thank you, God, for those nice things. But I want to say something. I want you to hear the words of this young gentleman for a second. How tough has your life been, my young friend? Huh? It's been very bad. <laughs> it's been incredible. But I yet, mean, you, do, you hear the, do you hear the joy in his voice? Oh. Do you Hello? hear it? Now, this is a man who is a young man who is overcoming so many obstacles. So right? many obstacles. Aren't you? Oh, uh, every day I have to up and down the ramp, in and out of telephones. Well, that is so beautiful. Did you see... And, you know, we have so much to be thankful for. Can't you please help? You never did any direct begging. Yeah. <laughs> Can't you please <laughs> help? And I mean this. You know, I once had Linda Lovelace out from my apartment. <laughs> 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 but there was no direct plea, Robin. There was no... You know, I don't remember. I really... I can't remember whether I saw Sammy doing... I know when he... The one time I saw him with the kids, he was doing the Rosengarten thing. And that's all I saw him doing. Young man, I want you... We're, oh. gonna, we're now going to get a tote. We're going to get a Rosengarten. Can I say... <laughs> what? Can I say... Sammy's got a Rosengarten. What? Can I say... Can I be the yes, one to say... Yes, yes, you I will be able... Son, don't get out of hand. We're going to have you say <laughs> Rosengarten. Now, just one time on. he I did say, say, this is not going to be a uh, Martin and Lewis act... <laughs> Because the kid was talking to him. Hey, after watching that telethon, after watching that telethon, can anyone blame Dean Martin for making that career move and leaving Jerry? I mean, can anyone, I mean, can't you, 
imagine how impossible Jerry Lewis is to work with. Like, oh, yeah. You have to get to a room and actually sit and write material with this guy and deal with him. Son, what? as I walk down an aisle of smiles, I think of you. You think of me? Actually, I walk down each aisle twice because I can only see one side at a time. Yeah. So, so what I want you to do is say Rosengarten for me. Say. I'm three. Rosengarten. Rosengarten. Say. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> Something beautiful. But all he kept doing is wandering around the stage with the guys in the wheelchair, and they couldn't even get a camera shot. He kept saying to the kids, "Was that? did we go up when the tote would roll? Because that was on my bad side. Yeah. He yeah, yeah, bad doing side. eye jokes <laughs> with the kids. To identify. So he could identify with that. <laughs> you know how, what I mean? He had a sty. The guy had a sty. I look how muscular. Yeah. Hey, wait a second. Look how muscular David Brenner is. I, what, have you been oh, working out? Oh, no, that's out? me. For a guy with a bad yeah, back, you're, you're in a little out. too good a shape. I got a workout tape coming out. No, what do you do? Wait a I second. What do you do? You think I'm kidding. I got a workout tape do coming out. Do you still out. hang upside down? Yeah, no, I work out. Yeah, but yeah, what do you do? You hang upside down? No, regular. I work with a trainer. Because for a while he was hanging upside down in those gravity boots. Yeah, right, I was yeah. for years because yeah. of my bad back. But now I work out. I have a workout. I seriously have a workout tape. Because he is in really good shape. Thanks. But for a guy with a bad back, how does he get in that kind of shape? What do you do? You diet? Hey, he's cured. <laughs> you met one for th was three months. Uh, no, come on, wait a second. You diet? <laughs> yeah, I watch my diet and I exercise. What kind of exercise? Like weights? Weights, yeah, free weights. And Dumb then you run? Do you run or something? No, I don't run. That's what do you bad do? For you. Nothing. I go up and down steps. To, you know, for the cardiovascular, I go up and down steps. Take a fast walk. I fast walk. A real walk steps or one of those step yeah, machines? Yeah, steps in the house. Or I go to like I walk from uh, where I live to 95th and 5th and come back again real fast. Boom, boom, 30 blocks each way, and then I work out. See, I don't believe he has a bad I think the bad back is the excuse to get the coke from that doctor. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. Sure. <laughs> Did you see David Gilbert when he was on TV defending the coke doctor? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Like, they they can play. I mean, David was in real trouble. It's a war injury. I'm telling you. You know, a lot of people didn't know I was in Vietnam. I <laughs> was entertaining the troops, and someone shot at me, and... Ever since then, I had to get these drugs from, uh, <laughs> from the from doctor. doctor, you know. But the doctor's doing good. And the thing <laughs> is that, see, I don't believe you have a back injury. <laughs> you, you think it's all You're like too good a shape. <laughs> That's nothing to do with it. Because <clears throat> I have a bad well, back. Well, your back has a lot to do with it. Do you remember the movie it. The Men? With, uh, it, was, uh, it was the first movie that Marlon Brando made, The Men. What do you eat for it breakfast? Guys, it was guys <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't eat breakfast. I eat one, once a day. What do you eat? At, at dinner, I eat like... Uh, uh, in a matter of two weeks, I eat everything you're supposed to eat. That's the, that's the idea of it. That's <laughs> the what do you eat for dinner? In other words, you won't like eat till fish. dinner. Yeah, I like have fish, I have vegetables, you know. And you'll eat that at right. dinner? Yeah, I eat that at dinner. One piece of bread, no butter, and, and that's no it. cholesterols. Yeah, that's it. Same weight, same measurements. Everything. And you don't get a headache during the day? You don't get hungry? You don't no. get a little dizzy? No, sometimes I'll have uh, uh, salt and butter-free popcorn as a snack because it's good for you and there's no calories in it. And there's nothing in it, so I'll eat a big bowl of popcorn. See, Gilbert, you got to start working out. Right, Gilbert's, well, Gilbert happens to be one of the strongest shape. guys. Yeah, that's right. An you excellent saw, shape. I've seen him in dressing rooms when we've done shows together. Forget about it. Naked. That. That's right. So when you take off your clothes for some of those young girls, they must go wild, because you're in better shape than uh, than a 20-year-old. Yeah. I don't know about going wild. I don't know, see, that's why he gets... See, so that's why... First of all, wall. he's a successful comedian. Yeah. He's young. Yeah. He's in good shape. And he's got he's got a couple of million dollars. <laughs> well, how that could, helps. Yeah. How how you not, the you other not? guy who's making out like I am is old, ugly, out of shape, and has a couple million. No, dollars. like Malcolm Forbes can get girls too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But girls are at least into you because you at least you have a nice appearance. It's like they would sleep with you if you just had a lot of money and you were an ugly comedian. Well, I, there was a time when I didn't have money, you know. All right, and you, you, know, got, I, I, you got women, but not like what you're getting now. No, I got the same as I'm getting now. Nah, get out of here. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to listen to this anymore. Let's pull no, out the pictures. they like him as a person. Come <laughs> on. Bring in the pictures. It was my, it was you my bring in the intellect. pictures. They love my intellect. You bring in the pictures. I want to see girls as good looking as you're getting now. Oh, uh, yeah? All right. He's, he's From before now. Yeah. Yeah, all right. The next time I come on, I will. I have to, I have to right. dig through the vault. And, and if you're, and if you're not telling the truth. I have to borrow truth. a shovel. You know what I mean? I yeah, can you go shovel. back that far through the archives? Yeah, go back that far. To dig through the, the vault. i got a special surprise for you tonight. Oh, my God. Yes. I've got some Q-tips with some Coke. Oh, stop. <laughs> uh, you're, you know, Medicinal, not for uh, drug usage. I mean, Medicinal. God bless you, man. All right. That, that way I'll be able to do the next show I was going to do now. Yeah. I, can 10%. Do, I can do both shows today. No wonder he doesn't you know? eat. He gets that we Coke can... in the nose. I, I wouldn't eat either. And that's why he can walk 30 blocks. You're not kidding. Real fast. Yeah. It's completely wired. Backwards. <laughs> backwards. I forgot that part. I woke backwards. Hey, Billy, i got to hang up. Okay. All right, man. All right, bye. bye. Now, get in here early. All right. I dare you.
Yep. <laughs> hey, if you do really good on the show today, I got yeah. a special surprise for you. Enemas with heroin. Oh, All right? No. Man. Hey, that, you're going to go wild when you have this. Of course. Then I'll run 20 blocks. I, I mean, I, oh, that's great. All right. The great David Brenner's here. And a surprise guest, Gilbert Gottfried. Yeah. All right. What are you plugging, Gilbert? Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, since I'm here anyway. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I have my list with me. Oh, I just happened to have it. All right. You'll get to do that after okay. the commercials. All right. All right. And David, are you plugging anything? No. no. Anything no. that Gilbert does, I'll plug. Okay. <laughs> David must be, he must be, you must be appearing somewhere. Yeah, I'll give you some plug, but okay. I want, I'm going to plug Gilbert first. All right. Okay. I'll let those guys plug each other, and, and Gilbert can have some time to sniff David's fingers. And Because I always say to Gilbert, I said, you should talk to David, because David gets tons of girls. Gilbert could get girls. Gilbert has yeah. no problems. You've seen his uh, women? With, forget it. Tom. You've seen Gilbert I, with women? Wipeout women. I kill her. My mother, my aunt. All right, let me do some commercials here. You got some commercials, Freddie? All right, I'll do a live one here. Now, both Gilbert and David have a nice head of hair. Yep. <laughs> now, David, you put it in a, I just recently dyed my hair black. You did not. Yeah, yes, I did. did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it looks dark. Yeah. yeah, it is a little darker. It was a big mistake. Oh, boy. Are you going to let it grow out? I'm going to streak it like Bon Jovi with that eggplant, uh, <laughs> that eggplant kind of streak. I don't know. I'm going to do something. Yeah, I went black. I should have gone, like, with red highlights or something. something I blew it. Yeah, yeah I did no, the wrong thing. Yeah. All right. It looks okay. What about you? That's your natural? Yeah, I'm like, like, yeah, brown. It gets lighter in the summer, darker in the winter. You know, it's brown. See, he's got a nice color. Mm -hmm. Brown's brown. What is? Well, do brown. Know. That's your natural? Yeah, do brown. He is brown. I yeah, am brown. brown. Yeah, you, yeah. Well, what, what was wrong with brown? Brown went to black. I mean, what was that? That's I should put brown. I should have put a little uh, highlights in. <laughs> well, you could have gone blonde or something. You know, here's the point. I spend a lot of time on my hair. Yeah, I, I spend a lot of time why. on my hair. Yeah. And the point is. Where's those Q-tips with the Coke? I gotta get some. <laughs> I just gotta get on that stuff. Yeah. I gotta get it. Your back is hurting. It's only 10%, Rob. <laughs> well, I, I may quit it after the president's speech today. I don't know what he's gonna say about that. He could what are you gonna me. do, man? He if... could mention me. Yeah, we're hey, going to Columbia, do... we're gonna get David Brenner. What are you gonna do if there's no more Coke in this country? Huh? You're now, how does the, the, does the medicinal Coke He'll come get another the injury. The, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. He's going to, like, no. smash his kneecaps and go, well, now it's not just the bad back. It's no, the kneecaps, too. <laughs> Brent will come wheeling in a yeah. wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> Look, i got to have Coke now. This is ridiculous. Yeah. And go on live at 5 to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's pretty good. If I ever get into some Coke, I'm going to do that with the Q-tips. <laughs> But no, oh, seriously, yeah. I know you do it for your back. I'm just yeah. kidding. Yeah, he yeah. really does. Yeah. Oh, Gilbert, just because yeah. you got Gilbert's a good back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gilbert's the one laughing, not me, David. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs like me, Gilbert. You ever notice that? Yeah, he does. <laughs> he laughs just like me. He's trying to be like I mean, you. Just, no, he, he has the same laugh. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Where the hell have you been? What, with the funny one? Or no, where have, where been? have you been in general? I've been in uh, Egypt, Kenya, What, Greece. you don't work anymore? You just yeah. travel? Yeah, I kick around a little bit, and I work, too. You know, what's life about? Life isn't life. dying your hair. And then you bring a life. different girl with you on each trip? <laughs> huh? You bring a different girl with you on each trip? Yeah, a few different ones each trip, yeah. Jesus. Wow. A few different ones each trip? Oh, you get bored after two, three days. <laughs> life is heaven for you, man, isn't it? Life is bliss, isn't it? There's yeah. not an unhappy day in your life. Oh, life's hell, man. Now, did you ever get unhappy? Huh? Um, yeah, some things, you know what I mean? R what bothers you? Coming over here in the mornings. No, come I... on, seriously. What bothers you? Well, Anything? What do you think? Everything's been easy? Come yeah. On, you, think? you pay prices. Everybody pays prices. What? Going Carson. You yeah, get $3 million right? worth of bookings in Vegas the next yeah. day. Well, it's that bad back of his. Yeah, that, that's that, all right. Yeah. That bad yeah. back Good. of a nagging Yeah, but father. look, but then he gets all the coke he wants for the bad back. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's not, you know. <laughs> See, there are trade-offs. <laughs> <laughs> The prices you pay and things you get. <laughs> Can't believe it. What a life. Yeah, it's a good one. Jesus. Yeah, a good one. You did it right. Yeah, started out wrong, ended up right. What do you mean, start out wrong? Well, well, I didn't come from bliss, no, you know? Right. Yeah, you grew up poor, big deal. Yeah, well, well that's, 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 that's what made of, you what you made are. made you funny. Yeah. Yeah. Now, someone says to me, uh, how does someone get to be a sponsor on your show? First of all, they have to prove to me that these are the best hair care products. I'm not going to recommend to my audience some inferior you product. You are telling me these are the very best hair care products in the country. I've used them all because the best thing I have about me is my hair. Without my hair, I'm nothing. My uh, my nose is, like you've got a big nose, David, but yeah. it's an attractive nose. Because I don't wear hair like you. No, so my nose hair is unattractive. Your, no, your my hair makes nose your nose... Is, 
It, I look bigger. It does. It does not. Yes, it does. Does my it hair focuses make... focuses your face. You Dark have the hair. same nose. I don't know why you're carrying because on. Because he has David all the Brenner? hair. He has all the hair focuses around his face like a frame. So you look <laughs> at his face. And when you look at his face, you look right in the center of the nose. <laughs> if he had his hair shorter... Oh, no. You wouldn't notice that the hair. Get I, away. I had my hair shorter. I don't think he's right. He's, you know what it is? My nose is noticed whether I'm bald or I got long <laughs> hair or I got medium-sized hair. But it's basically the same shape as David Brim. Why do you let it hang over your face? Well, in <laughs> December, yeah. I am getting a nose job. No, you're, you're not. Kidding. Yes. I thought of it for years, you know. All I ever I'm wanted was it. a nose job. Well, you don't need one. But then you get known for your nose. You get recognized for your nose. If, and your you... voice changes, your personality. Welcome back to Jews talking about noses. <laughs> Hi, Jews talking about Noses, the new hit series, Jews talking about noses. It's a so what do you do? Program. What do you do with your hair? Huh? What do you do with your hair? That's the key. What does this do? What it does make your nose look smaller. <laughs> you put so That's much hair designed. product in your hair that your nose actually looks smaller. <laughs> you can just distract people. They no, can you take the bottle and hair. smash your face with it. Oh. That's, That's a another nose job. Yes. <laughs> so, but I was surprised you weren't on the uh, telephone doing your pitch for uh, Jerry's kids. Ah, <clears throat> when you walk, he's pitching to. He, he didn't. He didn't it's even. A little late, isn't it? <laughs> he didn't even break down and cry in the middle of the song. I mean, he cried a little, but he didn't like have trouble getting through. He it. had a tear going. Yeah, he did the tear I like. Yeah, but he didn't stop nice in the middle of it. All right, we'll be back right after. The <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. This is Sir Harden Pick, and on behalf of everyone here at the Howard Stern Channel's Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your turkey this week, and enjoy the Master Tape Theatre Marathon, now playing on Howard 100 and Howard 101. All right, so let's get down to it. Gilbert, what do you want to plug? Yeah, let's hear Gilbert, okay. I came here. You know why I All came right. here? Because I came here because I heard you might come here and yeah. plug. And you, I want to hear where you're going to be. You read it for me. Where? <laughs> no, yeah, you I'll read let, it. David I'll Brenner let, I'll let Gilbert do it. All right. In, um, in, uh, I'll do it. I'll do my imitation now. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. I, uh, <coughs> wait, <coughs> I didn't get the voice okay. right. I am going to be... Wait, wait it's, too, it's too high. <coughs> Doesn't David sound like he has I'm a cold? Going, wait a minute, wait a minute. He does. You know what's sounds... difficult is to read this with your eyes closed. You have a, you have a cold. No, I always sound like I have a cold. You it's don't amazing. sound like this no, in the I, no, no, this is Your amazing. voice People is changing. Me, yeah, it is. You're it right. is. My yeah. whole family's that way. We end up all sounding like the Godfather. <laughs> you know, all the printers end up like this. Hey, your voice is that. changing. Yeah, it's getting in that raspy, yeah, I know. Not raspy, it's nasal. Yeah, nasal. Well, the nose, man. It's, you know, you grow into your nose. It takes a long time for the sound to travel through there. But when I met him, he didn't talk like this. No, he didn't. It something just sounds like he has a cold. Yeah, isn't it weird? Yeah, something's happening. I don't know what it is. It sounds like you have a cold. I, I think it's from the Q-tip getting. You know, it's got no. seriously the Q-tip getting shoved all the way up into your brain. Maybe you might as well have a nose. For God's job sakes, at this he's point. got a bad back. <laughs> Why don't I take it? Leave him alone. Maybe he's got I, a bad back. I, I, I bet take, you it's from those Q-tips. <laughs> maybe I should take them out once in a while. <laughs> well, you know, wait a minute. Maybe it's coming filtering. That's through what this, he's doing. You know what yeah. He breaks them off. He just leaves them. You know what it could be? All those women he has. Maybe there's a fur ball caught in his nose. That's what I'm telling you. Like it's like the hairball your cat gets. Yeah, you just you get that fucked up. Can you see them? Can you see them operating? Pull out this massive twelve-pound hairball, and they say, "Do you have cats?" No, I don't have cats. It's like tons of pubic hair. You know, oh goodness! Right. Oh, is, you go out all all out for your women? Huh? You do everything to your women, right? Well, I, there are, I there's a new painted, woman all the I've time. I've never painted a woman blue. Seriously, I've with, the amount of, with the amount of women that you have, and I'm being serious now, because you, you, like, yeah. you'll be a couple of months with a woman, then another woman, then another woman. Aren't you afraid of, seriously, diseases, AIDS, herpes, uh, anything? Um, I know you wear rubber. Over his nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's for the fur ball. But seriously. If you, if I'm being you, serious about this. You, the herpes. and Seriously, do you check them with a flashlight? Well, I've got a, a single friend who does that. He actually checks them with a flashlight. What's he, what's he looking for? He's a night right? watchman. Herpes. <laughs> Where Herpes. does he get his women? Is one one should add that he wants to check. Oh, he's a rich he's guy. A coal miner. He's a coal miner. <laughs> he's he a rich guy who hat. gets. He's like David. He gets tons of women. And he's a rich guy, but he always checks them with a flashlight first, and they go for it. 
Always. Yeah. She tells me you always check. If you turn well, on a he's getting a high caliber woman. I'll yeah, I'm you. telling you. If you turn on a flashlight and they run towards it very quickly, they, <laughs> yeah. got, they got something. That's the, he's right. See, they what I would something. do is I would. <laughs> the old litmus test. I, I yeah, would keep them. Right. They I charge would, into the light. I would keep the women in a holding tank under surveillance for a couple of months. <laughs> and then after that period was over. You they, must think you're some catch. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> They're going to wait. I can, one thing, one benefit. All, thank God for all these diseases because it gives you something to be happy about. No, but come on. Be right? serious. Be you serious. Can say, hey, I'll never get this. You, you're always nervous. I'm sure. Well, I mean, some of the. Uh, you look at a woman you, and you, know, you wonder the you, disease she no, may be carrying. If you, if you, if you, <laughs> no, I mean, first of all, to worry about it, you got to be. It'll drive you nuts because it, it goes back. The gestation period goes back ten years. Something like that, eight, ten years. You know what it would be like if I sat down and thought, over the last ten years, you know, who had what, whom, what, right. and each Where? one that they had, and now it's already. It's but like, you take certain precautions. Four states, and it keeps multiplying. It's like the old pyramid con. You know, each person picks two people. But you don't. People. But you don't exchange bodily fluids, right? I don't need that. No. But yeah. <laughs> you and me both, pal. Yeah. <laughs> Join the club. Yeah. I haven't had the opportunity. Look, can, I, can I get these plugs in? All right, there? after these words, we'll get plugs. I want to do my plugs. No. I've been doing David Brenner impressions yes. now for 20 minutes. I can do my plugs. Not do your fair. plugs, Gilbert. Mm -hmm. Do my mm -hmm. plugs for a minute. Give Let me, me do them for a minute. Let me do them for a minute, all right? Mm -hmm. the, the gigs are going to be over by the time I do these plugs. I'm going to be. Yeah. I'm going to be. Well, Gilbert's going to be. And David Brenner said he's going to be there to see Yeah. No, David promised, right, David? You promised to be well, there? Yeah, hey, Gilbert. I, you know, if I get a chance to, I'm definitely going to stop over there. See? He's going to stop. <laughs> All right. So this is Gilbert Godfrey telling you. Over and see you. Can I tell you something? Well, Gilbert and I worked together a little while ago, okay? Is it true? In and, Canada. It true. In Canada. And I, I came into the gig, and I and I, uh, and I went out to, to, to watch him. Guy's brilliant on stage. I've he always is. loved him. He is He's great. brilliant. He's one of the funniest guys I've ever seen. And anyone that's never seen him, or you got to go see the guy because he's one of a kind. Most of the, the comedians you watch him, they're interchangeable parts. It's like industrial, you know, stuff. Interchangeable. Not Gilbert. Guy. There's no Gilbert, one like him. He's the best. Do you want to say something? Do you want to say something about really David fun. now? See, go ahead. See, this is the worst to try to hit me for sincerity. No, now Gilbert, <laughs> you know, say something nice about David. He just said something nice about you. <laughs> no, he just said something very sincere. He said, "This is the worst to hit me for sincerity." Let's there leave you him go. alone now. <laughs> Take him off the Gilbert, hook. He said something. That's serious. show business. David said you were the fun, one of the funniest See, guys. I can't schmooze. I can't compliment. And now you have to compliment right. back. No, he doesn't have to compliment. Back. <laughs> the guy, the guy's brilliant. He's David, funny. He's different. What is he? And I, Come on, now he's getting too wrong. far in, there's in a different situation that. here. There's something wrong it's here. It's, there's it's something time. very wrong here. There's nothing wrong here. There's something very wrong Let's here. Let's have a telethon about this, Gilbert. Now your chance to say something about David. Go he see Gilbert and sincerity tell on. See, he yeah, can't right. he can't say anything nice about anybody. Yeah. Come on, Gilbert, you worked with David. I was on the phone Canada. with Gilbert oh, one yes. night, and when we were having our little fight, <laughs> and I'm going, "Hey, Gilbert, we think of you as a guest. You know, we think of you as you know, a regular. We are very highly touted. We always push you." And, and I go, and, "Yes." And then Gilbert's uh -huh. supposed to go. And Gilbert's supposed to say, "Hey, man, I really appreciate everything you guys have done for me." Nothing. And I think you guys are great. Nothing. Da, da, da. He never said that, huh? You got no schmooze whatsoever. Yeah, I was sitting there going, let me get this straight. Okay, mm -hmm. let me write this down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> At least say you'd love to hump a few I, of David's broads. I was like say taking, that. It was like taking a food order in a deli. All right, I'll say what Gilbert means. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody Gilbert who's ever is. seen David Brenner, what Gilbert wants to say is, <laughs> but he has no show business acumen. Yeah, yeah. What does he want to say? Gilbert? David is one say? of the funniest performers. <laughs> yeah. Started out one of the uh, guest hosts of the Carson Show. Right. Has uh, been on Carson 9,000 times. 154 times. His act is always fresh and contemporary. And clean. While others have fallen. Yes. While others work dirty. David right. is able to work clean. Now get my plug in. And you know what we think of foul humor on this show, Robin? Of course, right. yes. Get, you know, why can't people work that. clean? Get you know, my plug in. That foul humor is a crutch. I'll do the and plug. And so get many my, of the young comedians. I knew say. David I, when he wait. worked on the name of Max Alexander. Wait. He was funny then, and he was funny now. <laughs> I want to get my plug in. Okay. All right, Gilbert's going to do the plug. But Gilbert's going to tell. Here's, here's the plug, Gilbert. Okay. I'm going for the first time in over 10 years to make an appearance in New York City. For the first time in over 10 years I'm making an appearance in New York City. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. I'm going to be this doing... This is like talking with Marley Matlin. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, doing... you interpret. I'm going yeah. to be doing... Yes. 
A one man yes. show. I'm gonna be doing a one man show. When one man time, you know. Yeah, one man you know something. When you know a one man show. Well, you know, he, he never does a one man show, Gilbert. Because, Gilbert uh, won't. He is a one man show. He, it takes a, a lot of guts. One man show. It takes a lot of guts to do a one man show, a person like this. He should do it. He doesn't <laughs> have the guts to go up on a stage by himself. A person, a person who could be a performer who's uh, more. Uh, now, like Jackie, people, you uh, did. Jackie mentioned you did the one man show. Yes. But as I can attest <laughs> to, I heard David talking about a one man show before. You did your one man show. He's lying yeah. bastard. <laughs> He's lying bastard to come out and say a thing like this on the air. <laughs> that who the who does he think he is? Who does he think he is that dumb against somebody like me and say something like this? A lying bastard like Pooey. I don't even talk to a person like this that he could say he got the idea before I got the idea. Every clip, every <laughs> clip of Jackie Mason I see now, he's he's fighting with that guy, Abe Hirsch. <laughs> that Abe Hirsch feel that calling that him a cheap lying bastard. bastard. That no good cheap crook. I, I can stand him. <laughs> Jackie Mason, who gets more broads, you or David Brenner? Let me tell you something. He says, David Brenner says that he gets more women than I do, but he's a lying bastard. He's no better than that Al Hirschfeld. He's a no good crook. <laughs> this is not against him as a person. I got nothing against him personally. Right. I just think that he's a lying bastard and he's bastard. no good and he's a crook. But this is not against him as a person. I have nothing. I think he's a Believe me, I'll tell you something. David Brenner gets more broads than Jackie Mason. Jackie Mason, I saw that woman that he was living with. <laughs> he wasn't famous. Did you see the picture of Jackie Mason's? You know yeah. Jackie Mason? Sure, he's great. You know Fabulous. everybody. I went, I went to see his uh, one-man show. It was one of the most brilliant things I've ever seen comedically on stage. The guy was fantastic. Yeah, he is, he is He's fantastic. I yeah, he's great. He has never been anything but great. I mean, where the law, they say the law in his career had nothing to do with him because I saw him perform during those so-called law days. And the guy was brilliant. He was I mean, great. Thanks to one his feet. I, I had him on a Tonight Show when I hosted the Tonight Show. Hadn't been on television I don't know how many years. And I fought to get him on for about a year or so. And he came on and he went out there and he started doing a routine. And you could see he didn't feel confident in it. And I knew as a comedian, he's switching. And he just went into ad-libbing and going and, and off the top of his head and pulling pieces out. And the place was screaming. Yeah. And then he walked over. He, he, he changed course and, and right there, right on the stage. I mean, wow. very few guys have the guts to do that. Yeah, yeah. He's great. real, he's real oh, good. Oh, he's great. In fact, great. When, I went to see his show, when I went to see his live show, I wanted to hate it. Uh -huh. So I could get on the air and trash the guy, because you know he's the kind of guy you want to hate. You know, let's face yeah. it. But he was great. Oh, he just knocked everybody right out of there. He was great at. And then I even said, well, maybe I should just go on the air and trash him anyway. Oh, and I said that wouldn't be right. That wouldn't uh, be in keeping with the way I feel. Yeah. Wouldn't be great, Gilbert. I'm a legitimate guy. How about Gilbert someday doing a half man show? Half man, <laughs> half, man yeah. half woman yeah, show. A half man, no, a half man instead of a one man show. A half man show. Now, what would that be? Just the idea of a half man would attract people right there. No, right I there. don't know about Gilbert doing that. I don't know if he would want to do that. Gilbert, do you want to do that? Oh, I had this idea years ago. I had to do a half man show? Ago to do He's a, a lion bastard. Let me tell you this. This is a crook. This Gilbert's a crook. Who does he come across to say that I should do it? <laughs> All right, we'll be back right after this. Let me tell you something about the late, great Bart Giamatti, the commissioner of baseball, and he was a friend of mine. I have I never really talked about you this on the air. You should have been... Uh... One of he those was, people they interviewed. He was a very close friend of mine. And, you know, I've been wanting to say this whole show, and I, I wasn't going to really use this on the air, but I'm going to say something right now about Bart Giamatti, who I knew for 10 years. Bart was a true intellectual, a great man, great family man, but also one of the brilliant men of baseball. Yeah. And to lose Bart, all right, oh, yes, he had club fingers. And I knew something was wrong. I, I used to say, Bart, you have club fingers, damn it. <laughs> You've got club fingers, you bastard. And Bart, I used to call him bastard. It was a, a loving, a loving kind of term. But I tell you something, Bart and I would go back 10 years. And David, to have a friend like Bart Giamatti, so beautiful, so wonderful. Poor bastard couldn't pick his own nose because of the club fingers. Oh. I had to pick his nose for him. Well, that's a true friend. First of all, I heard when I heard the news, Larry King actually broke the news to me. I was watching Larry King show, yeah. and he goes, I just want to say something. Bart Giamatti died today. Bart was a very close friend of mine. Do you think that he was really a close friend of his? It's hard to say. You know, Larry has uh, all right. drinks with the governor. All right. So I had, I had this debate going on in my head. Then all of a sudden, I turn over to Channel 5, The Amazing. Yes. That guy. 
He was a close friend, too? He's a close oh, friend no. of Bart Giamatti. <laughs> I got a feeling everybody thinks you're a close friend of Bart Giamatti. Can I tell you something? Gilbert and I did not know the man. <laughs> 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 we, we, say have, we respected him. him. We respected him. I thought he was great intellect. He did a lot for Yale. He did a lot for baseball. <laughs> no. But we did not know him. Did you know him? We didn't know him. Actually, right? I was a close friend of his. You were. All right, I'm the yes. only one. Who, I got to tell you, as the only person here who did not know him. I you know who know knew him? him? Arthur Godfrey. Arthur Godfrey. I knew oh, Arthur he Godfrey real well. Good. Here he is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He is a terrific man. Was he a you know, Jew or a Negro? Oh, well, he loved. Most, most importantly, he wasn't a Jew, so that's why I liked him. Because, <laughs> 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 so, you know, I care. Care about keeping this planet clean. You know, there was always a Jews off it. there was always a rumor, <laughs> Arthur. There was always a rumor that you didn't like the Jews. Isn't that well, true? I, I, I hated. I was always offended by the term rumor. <laughs> I didn't like that. Oh, I <laughs> Sometimes they say there's a rumor you don't like the Jews. I say, how do you call that a rumor? I used to be very offended by yeah. this. <laughs> Wasn't it Bart's idea to fire Julius LaRosa, Bart Giamatti? Yeah, it was, because uh, well, uh, both of us didn't like Julius. Uh, see, see, I originally thought he was a Jew because he had a big nose. I didn't <laughs> realize that Italians had big noses, too. I right. just thought it was a Jew. So, <laughs> so I thought about so, accident. So I, I fired a lot of Greek people, too. In my day. <laughs> see, I just assumed only Jews had big noses. So uh, henceforth, I fired a lot of Italians and Greeks. <laughs> henceforth. 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 But Henceforth. anyway, Henceforth. if Bart Giamatti would have gone I and fired a stuff. pelican once. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a joke. <laughs> I thought anything with a large beak, I just fired. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fired anything. I figured it, it did nothing to help the ecology, and, and it had a big nose. But you were a big uh, fan of ecology. In other words, yeah, you would always worry about fan. the ecology. I always cared about before anyone. Yeah. Uh, before, uh, before even all these young people, the hippies these, and everything. Well, I used to. Uh, say to young people back then, uh, the, the, you know, this was years ago, I used to say, get off your rear end. I was you, were so yeah. <laughs> you were so controversial. You were so controversial. You would say rear end? <laughs> I would, on the air. Wow. <laughs> He, uh, Gothry was the first controversial one. Yes, yeah. uh, I would just... Uh, what, what are some of the other words you would use on the air? Well, I'd say, uh, well, I'll give you a kick of the seat of your pants. Really? You I would told, say that? I said yeah. that on the air. With, uh, Pretty he, daring. he and Lenny Bruce, Godfrey and Lenny Bruce That's were the right. two they were after. He was That's a Jew, right. though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny, Lenny, was, yeah. Lenny was a Jew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smart, but... He was smart, yeah. but he was a Jew after. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> George Washington had a big nose. He was a I Jew. never liked him. He was a Jew. I, tried I always to fire assumed him. he was a Jew, and I tried to fire him. For... <laughs> he was the Zadie of our country. That's right. The Zadie the... of our country. George Washington. The but the Zadie. real, but wait a second. Zadie Washington, they called him. Are we to, ex to, to uh, now find out some years later, after Julius LaRosa was fired, that you fired Julius because you thought he was I a Jew? I thought oh. he was yeah. a Jew. <laughs> <That's outrageous. laughs> <laughs> so so are you sorry about that? Well, the, you know, no, I feel terrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can just imagine. Bart Giamatti. Jew I wouldn't care about. Bart Giamatti was 51 years old, and there isn't a man on this planet who wasn't a close friend of his. <laughs> That's a good life. And if he had was only... Was he a Jew? No, he was Italian. Oh, well, I'm you sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure you weren't too choked up with the Italians. Well, right? he wasn't. Uh, you know, they also have big noses and uh, dancing <laughs> circles and stuff. You know, I... <laughs> Any group, any ethnic group that dances in a circle, you don't like. Yeah, any group that dances in a circle that has big noses, <laughs> you, can't, you can't trust them. If, if they have a big nose, and they join heads and start. It's to, very dangerous, to, to it's dangerous. Very... Yeah, especially if they're facing out in the circle, they're spinning around. They can kill children. In All right, we'll be back right after this. Oh, we're back. <laughs> How long were we off the air for? Only a few, only a few minutes. A uh, big deal. Uh, where were we off the air? Yeah. That's so funny. Everyone must have thought so. We were talking about we Sam. Were fighting. We were fighting here. We had this bad fist fight. We were arguing about yeah. Sam and Dice and who's hotter and who's better. And Gary gave his rap about how women like to see Dice because Lisey's attractive to look at. <laughs> and, um, I mean, this whole thing going on. Oh, boy. Yeah. I love these analyses. Analysis. Listen to her. Woo. Hey, I mean, Gilbert. Robin's got yes. the brain, right? I mean, oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we sit around here. We take her for granted. She's in the fishbowl there, you know. And we think. Now, David, I know brain. you haven't read the Carson book. You refuse to read it. 
No, I don't read those. Uh, I don't read a book. I mean, auto, autobiography. I'd like to read a book on you. Believe. I wrote a few books on there. No, That's I want to read a book story. written on you. Yeah, yeah, all the stuff you won't tell. This stuff yeah. comes out when other people get to analyze. Yeah. So you all the, all the stuff you think should be private. The way yeah, other people right. say I, I want to read the time you brought Ed McMahon into a room and said, you know, I know you've been doing everything for me. And, <laughs> and then you start crying. <laughs> I want to know everything. I'd like to, you know, someone ought to write a book on you. Yeah, well, I might I get to work on that. that. <laughs> I, <don't> <laughs> I think that'd be yeah, interesting. Yeah. But Gilbert, yes, the woman that was Johnny Carson's lover for ten years, uh huh, is the woman from uh, Alan Thicke show. MJ. Uh, MJ. You Ooh. know her? Ooh. You never met her? Which which Alan the Alan Thicke show Alan I was on? <laughs> which Alan Thicke? Which but Alan no, Thicke? but I mean the Alan Thicke show I was on. Yeah. Or the, yeah. the one you did. Yeah. You, you don't remember Thicke MJ? Of the night. MJ. Thick of the night? Ooh. Remember the woman? Like, she's sort of Yenta? Ooh. That's Johnny Carson's this. lover for 10 years. He doesn't even remember the woman. There was probably never a woman. Now, she, she, one of those she, books. she just worked there? Or? See that? He doesn't even she remember the woman. Yes. She, oh, was she was a, a producer. producer. Oh. No, she was a producer. Oh, a producer. In other words, she once walked by the studio. I, I block out so remember. much of that show. That's one of the girls who was his lover. Like, she was like an older woman, right? She wasn't like a real good-looking woman. All, all I remember from that show is, you know, Gilbert lives up in the catwalk. And <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Lives up yeah. there in the catwalk. And <laughs> yeah. I come down at any time. Oh, 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 in other words, your role on the show was yeah. you were one of the comedians who could pop in at any time. Yeah, he, yeah, he was up on a catwalk. Up. Yeah, yeah. Belzer was there. You know, he had a lot of talented guys. Yeah, and what did he call it? The catwalk? The catwalk. The I catwalk? Work, yeah. I, I he worked lives for up Alan there Dick. in the catwalk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he, he was. Know, he was on a catwalk. Gilbert's he crazy. Was. He was up on a catwalk. He's kind of a catwalk. Actual catwalk. What is a catwalk? The studio was set up that it looked like fire escapes. Yeah. yeah, and up there was yes. Gilbert was up there, and Belzer would be up there. <laughs> <laughs> and you never, you never knew who was going to come down and yes. do something. And then they'd all sit on the sofa together. That worked well. It, yeah, it worked very well. Yeah. Alan really could thing. handle oh, that. Oh, when they used to do that thing where they just let everybody sit there and do whatever they wanted. Yeah, oh, that was great. We oh, just had beautiful. everyone just sitting around and just talk and see whatever they want. Because yeah. <laughs> they come from the catwalk. <laughs> yeah, the right. catwalk is that <laughs> part above the stage oh, where I you see. Yeah, everything right. from. From. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like Gilbert's just going to walk on yeah, without... Because yeah, yeah, yeah. he lives right. up there in the kit. <laughs> he lived up there. <laughs> he lived up there. He did. He lived up there. <laughs> Great show, man. <laughs> <laughs> the catwalk. God almighty. What did you do with him? I worked with him when he was a um, uh, producer up in Canada. And he was producing uh, The Polish Prince. Oh, uh, Bobby <laughs> Vinton? Bobby Vinton show. Really? And that's what his job was. He was producing and writing for Bobby, Bobby Vinton. Bobby lives up in the cat book. Yeah, he did. <laughs> that's what he wrote about. And I did, I did the show up there with Alan Thicke. Really? Yeah, we did some skits together. And, and he was a big success there. Yeah, he was a major role. He's a, he was a real smart. I'll tell you one thing. He was a real good producer. He was real sharp really? as a producer. You know, and he wrote a lot of stuff. He was a good comedy writer. Yeah. And then he really made, you know, all you got to do sometimes is just get enough of a splash on TV, even if it doesn't. Even if you're not a success, it'll eventually lead to success. You keep splashing enough. Right. You, know, you get your own show and it's a failure. Another, your own show and it's a failure. Your own show is a failure. Right. But he made enough noise, then you'll get a show and it'll work. And right. that's, that's what he finally did. He's off the catwalk. He's a, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 hey, tell no, Dick Cavett no, about it. <laughs> How many shows? Is, eventually it'll work, Dick. That's because <laughs> that's only because people are getting dumber and there are less people for him to interview. That's right. You know, he only interview people 150 IQ and above. <laughs> <laughs> and like, oh, what's he doing now? You know. Hey, you know what we should do? Let's, uh, Robin. Let's do a couple of news stories okay. before we have to leave. Yeah, okay. Because well, David and Gilbert like the news. Tomorrow I'm going to be dressed up and sitting in front of my TV set for the MTV Awards, Howard. Are you going to be wearing your rock clothes? <laughs> they didn't invite why, why me Why aren't you that. there? Why, yeah, are why you aren't there? you invited? They, for two years they haven't invited me to the MTV Awards. Yeah, Gilbert, you are two years. MTV. And, you, and you're on it a lot. I'm on MTV a lot. Two years they yeah, haven't invited right. me. They haven't invited you to the Awards. They don't even me. invite you to come and see the show. I don't get that. We did that one year. What a mistake. <laughs> they, they didn't even, yeah, they didn't even send me tickets. Want to call kidding. Steve Leeds? Yes. Do you Let's call, call Steve Leeds. That's right. we got to take care of this injustice. When we know. see injustice, we fix even it. Even if he's right. not there, we got to leave a message. No, that isn't fair. Yeah. I mean, come on, he's wrong. on MTV. I don't get it. Yeah. Guy should definitely be there. Come on, Steve Leeds. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call his David Brenner. David right. Brenner will get it straightened up. MTV. Hi, it's Howard Stern. We're on the air. Tell Steve Leeds. What? What is this? She hung up. 
Well, they know you're there. <laughs> Let them the boy, up again. The word has spread. <laughs> Our again. usual David, poll you getting us me. right through. You're yeah. calling. Yeah. Yeah. You no, I say. usually get right through. It must have yeah, been really? disconnect. It must, oh, have, it must have, been have been disconnect. <laughs> yeah, sure. Disconnect. Right. That's, that's, what a hand, that's what a hand slams the receiver down. It's called disconnect. <laughs> oh, let me handle this, <laughs> that's please. That's a technical yeah, please, problem. Yeah. The rest of us should keep quiet. Oh, they left the phone up. Oh, this is David Brenner. I would... Oh, see, she knows see, now my real voice. Right. Now she's hanging up. Right. Now she's hanging up. Now try, try Howard Stern again. What's try happening, it, yeah. Howard? Well, I don't know. We never got no, this. Oh, no, this is wrong. Oh, definitely call. Call him up. Call, call him, him up, up again. again. This is not Everybody's fair. been calling for tickets. I mean, tickets. it's bad enough Gilbert doesn't have tickets, but they hang up on Howard Stern. <laughs> they're really pushing it now. Especially after, you know, we could all do a video. After all we we've do a done video for about MTV. This? Yes. Let's put music What's going on? Why are they hanging up? I don't know. Oh, just let me, ask, wait, for let me, him, ask for him right, first, and then it. say, "Does how it's done on, on the air?" No, I gotta say we're on the I air. I know, but can you ask for him first and say it in the same sentence? I don't know why she's being so mean. Have them connect us first. This is supposed to, to be Steve rock and Leeds roll. Office. Yeah, don't even talk to her on the air. Just say, "Connect me to Steve Leeds." And why is she hanging up on me? Maybe she doesn't like you. Maybe she knows you. <laughs> now she's not even answering. I just want to go through. She can instinctively feel what you're calling. I just want to speak That's to Steve bad. Leeds. What's the deal? Don't we have no, what if someone line? else is calling right this now? This is very weird. MTV. Steve Leeds, please. He's no longer at this number. Oh, that's what's going on. All right, it's Howard. Don't be so mean to me. We're on the air. Why are you hanging up? Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Ooh. You talk about somebody. Jesus. You talk about somebody. Wait a second. You Maybe know, he's had a different number. One that's of what your it more is. Avid fans that isn't there. a point. Well, do we have another MTV something. number? Imagine some guy's married to that. Oh, oh here's Steve's new number. I'm All right, sorry. We got a new number. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I didn't realize Steve had a new number. I'm now sorry. we got to find a job for that uh, young woman who just quit at MTV. <laughs> I didn't realize Steve's new number was. Oh, six, don't seven, say nine, that six. one. Oh. <laughs> don't do that one. Oh, oh don't do that oh. one. That's not fair. Oh, oh. oh shit. Oh, oh. Get oh. Get <laughs> Saying you thought he's insincere at times. <laughs> I couldn't right. express emotion. Yeah. Hello? Right. Hello? Hello? Oh, How are you, Howard? TV. Huh. Yes, hi. Steve Leeds, please. It's Howard Stern calling. We're on the air. Hold on. Just Thank you. You see, oh, you're very nice. Thank you. See? See, see that's, totally how, that's the usual reception attitude. you get, right? Where, 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 aren't you nice? Yeah, you usually get that. <laughs> Thank you. MTV. Yeah, hi. It's Howard Stern. We're on the air. Hi. Can yeah. you hold on, please? Steve, Steve Leeds, please. Oh, it's a hold on job. She's talking to the other woman from the other place. <laughs> this is going to go. It's Gilbert Godfrey doing David Brenner. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe you better call his Gilbert. Oh. Gilbert, why don't you yeah. get on? Maybe it would be different if you were on. Why? I no, it's, to... it's better. Have no, speak I think someone speak for Gilbert. Yes. I don't think it's yes. All right, I'll speak it's just for me. Gilbert. It's just me. Bitching. I mean, this is a big. Uh, I mean, you're hurt yeah. by this yeah. light, aren't you? Right. Man, I'm hurt. I would think so. <laughs> I Hello? Steve? Steve? It's Howard. We're on the air. Hello? Hi, it's Arsenio Hall. We're on the air. <laughs> oh, hi, Arsenio. How are you? <laughs> Who's this? This is Scott Fishman. How are you? How Scott are you? Fishman with you. How are you? Good. Um, I got Gilbert Gottfried on the show, and he wants to be invited. He's a surprise that you guys didn't invite him to the NTV Awards to appear on them. I'm in, I'm in New York. I'm not even going to the VMA Awards. Oh, the VMA no. Awards. Oh, it's VMA. Oh, VMA. Oh, 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 Gilbert doesn't even know where he's going. The VMA. Who said MTV? Robin was the one who said No, MTV. it is MTV. It's, it is MTV. MTV. Yeah. Yeah. Video it's Music cool. Awards, right. but well, it's why, MTV. Right. So For why? God's sakes, Dave. Well, it's MTV's VMA. Let's find, out. <laughs> let's find out why he's not going up. Yeah. But wouldn't you invite Gilbert, who appears regularly? I mean, aren't all the VJs going? I, I, to be honest with you, I really don't know. Oh, come on. Oh, what a oh, lame. What a lame. lame. I mean, come Gilbert on. should be there. Gilbert's you know, hurt. they're having I'm Dice hurting. Clay on the show and Arsenio Hall is the host. What is this? What are you trying to say to Gilbert? You're saying to Gilbert he's not a valued employee? I'm not the one that makes the decision whether or oh, not he goes. Oh, I heard that in oh. Nazi Germany. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I was just caught. I was just yeah. going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've heard that. think of the Holocaust. Do you, do you have a list of other Jews who were invited <laughs> or not invited? <laughs> I don't know. You know, Howard, I don't know. I'm Jewish, too, and I'm not going. You're not you know? going. So see? did you see a pattern? Yeah, now, there right. could, could be, Howard. Yeah, now, yeah. Julie Brown's been invited, right? <laughs> And yeah. she's she's not even white. <laughs> hey, where's your rotund little boss? Let me speak to him. Who? Steve Leeds. Steve Leeds? Yeah. Oh, you want me to transfer you to his office? Mm. Steve Loyalty Leeds? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah transfer yeah. me in there. All right, hang on a second. I mean, I admit Gilbert's no Adam Curry, but he's got some talent. <laughs> 
<laughs> and some hair. So. Right. <laughs> I mean, he could go there and, and not cause a scene and everything. Exactly. I don't think it's fair. Steve Leeds is awesome. Yes, hello. This is Howard Stern. We're on the air. If uh, I may speak to Steve about the terrible thing. Excuse me? I'm on the air. Right now. I'm on the air. Right now. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm sure. Yes, it's yes. Joe. It's Joe. Joe. <laughs> anyway, let me let's tell Steve that uh, Gilbert should be invited to the MTV Awards. Hello, hello, hello. Where'd she go? She was so excited about being on the air. I'm on the air right now. <laughs> what should I do? What should I do? Hello. Hello. I mean, hello. Yes. Hi, this is Howard Stern. We're on the air. Hi. Who's this? Where's Adolf Leeds? <laughs> 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 Mr. Leeds is in L.A. Oh, he oh. gets to go. Oh, yeah. oh sure. The Pura is in L.A.? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Why wasn't Gilbert Gottfried invited to attend the MTV Awards? He, wa he wasn't. I don't know. You need to check with Steve about that. Well, he's in L.A. Yeah. Well, you got a number? No. That's not fair that he isn't invited, right? These are like, like how Poland was saying... I, we don't know how the Jews just weren't there one day. Uh, See? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Same one thing. day there were Jews, and then the next day there weren't. Where did we they don't go? know where oh, they went no. to. Yeah. See? We thought they went to the beach. Yes. <laughs> the man's hurt. Well, get to Steve about that, and let's get uh, Gilbert, Gilbert down. Gilbert, you should be invited. Right. I'll, I'll check that. Now, All look, right. there must be some way of getting in touch with Steve Leeds. Well, here he well, is on the other line. Well, this, this might be him. Hold on. All right, go ahead. Okay, oh, sure. Yeah. Sure, it's him. Seven o'clock in the morning in L.A., he's getting up a call. <laughs> sure. Wants to know if there's any messages. Right? Uh, what a con that is. This might be him right now. Hello? First thing he does is wake up, brush his teeth, and call the office. Hi, this is Steve Lee. Steve, how you doing? Uh, okay, I just heard that Gilbert uh, wasn't invited, so I just want to formally invite him and uh, tell him to take the MGM Grand down to Los Angeles Airport. I'll pick him up at LAX, and then I'll be it. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's good. That's good. And the right. rolls. Uh, now I can go back to sleep. Hello. 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 Yes. Gotta go. The phone's ringing. Oh wait a oh. second. No. Oh. No. 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 Yeah. No. No. Fair. Sounds like Hate typical MTV bull. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. No. No. Give no. Us a break. Send no. You don't get off the jet. phone that easy. Give Gilbert a private. Where's jet. Gilbert's ticket? What? Gilbert's, Where's Gilbert's ticket? ticket? I'll check with him when Come he calls in. Come on, this in. corporate MTV stuff. Oh, All right. Oh. I'll tell you I mean, why you guys, why phone. are you guys kissing? Uh, Listen, this is David Kissing Brenner. our senior. Tell him to give him my tickets, okay? Yeah. Hey, this is the dice man. I can't make it out to the awards. Could you put Gilbert on in my place? Yeah. Oh, Howard. Yes. Hold on a second. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, now we got it. He woke up. <laughs> he came out of the Beverly You know what, Gilbert? Hotel. I don't even care if you jogging. get invited to the MTV Awards. I'm thinking about it. I think it's going to, he'll be noticed for not being there. I think a lot of people are going to be saying, where's Gilbert? I, I mean, doubt they... it. Think about it, Gilbert. Yeah. You know they don't care about you. You're just another cog in the wheel. Yeah. Got him. Just like another worker there. You Aww. get paid, right? Another there? worker for Big Brother there at MTV. Hello? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hello? That, that's to show how hip they are. They put on a little rock music. Oh, I see. They're, they're playing MTV for us. Oh. oh. You know, girls, I'm going to come over there. Yeah. I'm going to take off all of your clothes and make love to you. That's that will... better promise, Howard. Promise. <laughs> <laughs> Me and that stud, David Brenner. Oh, God. What do you... can't believe David Brenner. You know, I used to work for David Brenner. Oh, God. Oh, You're not going to tell a oh, story good. about me, are you? David, is that you? No, it's Who Gilbert are we talking Godfrey. To now? <laughs> no, seriously, because yeah. I just walked into this conversation. Did you ever sleep? Yeah. We're trying to get Gilbert uh, Godfrey. They a put us on a. Yeah. Did you ever sleep with David Brenner? Oh, is this Gilbert Godfrey? Oh, because I used to work for David Brenner. Is that Nina? Yes. Nina, how you doing? Listen, Nina, oh. here's a problem. Hey, did you ever Gilbert sleep with Godfrey. David? I never slept with David. No, oh. I was strictly business. That's right. Now, Gilbert Godfrey has not been invited to the MTV Awards, and he doesn't understand why. Don't you think that's unfair? He works for MTV and all that kind of thing. Yeah, what are you going to make Huh? <laughs> I mean, what is it, Nina? How you doing, Nina? Good, David. How are you? Fine. I've been fine. What did she do kid. for you? She was my secretary when I had my own show. She's great. And I made cappuccino for him on every daily basis. Did yeah. you ever see him? Uh, you know, right? Did you ever see him making out with Victoria in his office? <laughs> Look, David. I mean, uh, Howard. Haven't you been in enough trouble already with David and all this other? Did nonsense? you ever see her naked in his office? <laughs> Tell the truth. Did you ever accidentally open the door and see her Quit naked? While you're ahead. 
<laughs> what? I said, Howard, you better quit while you're ahead. Did you ever see her naked? Me? Yeah. No, but Victoria was a gorgeous uh, hunk of woman. Yeah, and what would he do? Make out? Well, like, like you need an office. You would go in there, make out with her all day. <laughs> oh God, you know. Yeah, that's a that's unbelievable. That's an unbelievable. Nina's the one who could write the books. So yeah, you talk about someone writing a book. About well, I'll be in the contact. person you got to get to. Yeah, when she you probably write. has some good stories. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I gotta go. We got. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. We haven't gotten an answer yet. We're about his tickets. Gilbert's Wait, tickets. yes. I don't think David asked them. them. These are right, secretaries. I think yeah. Gilbert Godfrey is one of the most brilliant comedic talents in this country and works on uh -huh. MTV. Should get a couple of tickets, a little private jet to and, take him out there. A little private jet. All right, a big private jet. But he should get the tickets. And I should be a presenter. There. Tell him a presenter. He should present something. All right, goodbye, girls. Just make work on that and get back to me. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. give regards to Steve. <laughs> that the hell was Steve. <laughs> oh, Steve. I know Play Steve. that recording yeah, of Steve, Steve again. Yeah, versus right. Steve. All right, what else well, is in I'm the news? Well, I'm glad I brought that up. Well, yeah, I that was just going to say Steve. that I was going to be all dressed up because it is a special occasion. Bon Jovi will play acoustically. Acoustic oh, Bon Jovi. Oh, wow. And they say oh. there'll be no lip syncing. <laughs> no lip syncing. <laughs> yeah, right. No yeah, lip -sync, Everybody yeah. will be performing live in the Well, I wouldn't know first then. Oh, that's going to be <laughs> that's going to be great everyone performing live. <laughs> oh boy. I like that. Oh, that's great. See, I like that. That's where you really got to play. Uh, that's where people have to show their yeah, real, yeah, real yeah. talent. That's Let's real see talent. it. Yeah. Let's see. Nothing it. on tape. That's great. Nothing yeah. on tape. Wow, that's great. I like so that. We'll wouldn't it be great if they did out. the videos live? You know those wild videos, but they did it live? There you go. Oh, that's, that's what you're going to have. That's what you should have on a video awards show. Ooh, that's great. That's yes. great. Maybe that's why Gilbert's not invited. Because, <laughs> you know, Gilbert does lip sync. I, yeah, I do mostly tape. And, and, yeah, he, Gilbert's on tape. Did you Gilbert, know what would you do on MTV Award Show if you got the opportunity to go? Well, you know, uh, coming up, uh, you too. Uh, <laughs> they've been really wild this year. They've been touring and great, great new video. And, uh, <laughs> Led Zeppelin really kicked some butt at the last award show. And, well, we think that uh, coming in twice as strong now. Paul Abdul's moving up in the charts. <laughs> you really All are. Right. Yeah. 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 He would be great, right? Yeah. Yeah. You'd be excellent. He'd be great. He'd be great. <laughs> There was a gay demonstration at Tompkins Square Park, Howard. So what the? <laughs> so what, man? I wouldn't go there. What are those two guys doing? Hey, man, why bring that up? What are you trying to say? <laughs> Gilbert, were you there? Well, uh, oh, yes, but I didn't afraid. swallow. <laughs> I know David was Here's there. what yeah. happened. Apparently, yeah. there was some nasty people taunting the gays Fred, in the park. Fred, is that you and Matt this year? <laughs> Fred they loves to go nasty. down there. They were They were very tacky. Right. <laughs> and then one of them took a lacrosse stick and started swinging it at the gay people. Really? Steve who Leeds. <laughs> <laughs> After he wouldn't let Gilbert go to the MTV award. <laughs> so the police came along and they re arrested Jose oh. Suarez and Kenny Hassam. Oh, oh wait, wait a minute. Let me Puerto Rican and he's gay. Suarez <laughs> and Kenny Hassam. What? No, these what were the two oh, no, bad these guys. Are the these guys. are the but kids what they who were swinging the Do you believe play? that guys like that are carrying a lacrosse stick? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. You know, here comes Suarez and Lahan with their cross <laughs> Don't laugh. Stick. Our Spanish station, those are the two afternoon jocks. <laughs> But they also Which arrested... reminds me, I gotta get over there. <laughs> right. You right. got plugs you got to get plug. in. <laughs> yeah, right. But they also arrested Mark Carson, Howard. Oh, he's the guy with the lacrosse stick. Johnny's son, right? Yeah. I knew it. All three of them are carrying oh. a lacrosse stick. And that's why the gays decided to march, because Mark was trying to stop these two men from harassing the gays. Oh. And the police arrested him and charged him with trying to obstruct the arrest. Fred was down there holding up watermelons. He completely confused. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't know what to do. About 300 people demanding Carson's release marched to the Fifth Street Station house mm -hmm. where they threw rocks at the cops. The gays did? The yes. oh, this, is, this is the way to get things settled. <laughs> you know what I mean? so they wrong. arrest a guy who's trying right. to stop a lacrosse stick swinging. So they throw rocks they at throw cops. Rocks yeah. at the cops see? Why does everyone throw rocks Somehow at the cops? Somehow they could throw rocks at the cops, but they couldn't stop the two guys with the lacrosse stick. Right. Yeah. That they're I good don't at. understand. They didn't, the cops? Rocks. <laughs> they, didn't get, they didn't get their rocks off until they saw the cops. <laughs> That's what happened. It's those uniforms. Some gays were beaten up, so we're going to throw rocks at cops. That's the way to get things solved around here. Yes. One officer was slightly injured when he was knocked off his scooter. I think they were just trying to steal their nightsticks. <laughs> <laughs> now, Howard, you keep asking me, how did, how did Frances McMillan wind up in the situation oh. she was in? Mrs. McMillan. Yes, Mrs. McMillan from the McMillan family. 
Well, Howard, it all started when she was 16 years old and her husband, Herman. 16, she had a husband, Herman. Well, <laughs> There's your her problem, husband. Right? When you're 16, you got a husband, Wait Herman, a you're in trouble right away. Right. You want to explain the story. <laughs> this is the guy they found up in the yes, Bronx. Yes, who was abusing his wife and his children and sexual abuse and all oh. and, and physical abuse and all kinds Did of things. Did they have a nightstick? <laughs> Had Whee! the family chained to the radiator and all that. Oh, well, he That's met. Sick. Ever chain Francis. a woman to a radiator, David? Huh? <laughs> Ever chain a woman to a radiator? No. Ever no, tie a woman up? No, but I use this nice thing once. <laughs> <laughs> Ever tie a woman up? Huh? No. Why would I tie someone up? Why to rob them? <laughs> well, right. anyway, <laughs> I was about position. to tell you the story of poor little Frances Johnson. Yeah. At 16, she was sitting in a public library, and that's where Herman McMillan first saw her. <laughs> a few minutes of innocent conversation started her long descent into the world of abuse and mm. neglect. And radiator chains. <laughs> yes, really. Oh, now at 34, of... she's married and has had over 11 or 12 uh, pregnancies. Ten kids came out of this. She is charged with assault and endangering the welfare of her children. Her husband is charged with rape, assault, and incest. Oh, this is sick. Oh. And her lawyer compares her plight to that of Hedda Nussbaum, who was arrested but never indicted in the death of Lisa Stein. Oh, she has a lawyer now. More abuse. Right. <laughs> yeah. Now the real abuse, abuse starts. Boy, she oh. doesn't know anything until she gets a lawyer. That's it. And of course, you're oh, without abuse. Goodness. Well, the lawyer says there's a lot of similarities between Herman McMillan and Joel Steinberg. Well, at least the lawyer won't chain her to the radiator rod. Right. <laughs> they both isolated their women from society and created worlds in which the men were king mm. both women say they were beaten at the slightest provocation and punished by being deprived of food that's a diet <laughs> that's a, a fat uh, farm people pay for that sicko. you don't like this i hate these it makes people. you very yeah. uncomfortable any yes. abuse yeah any abuse you, especially with children women i mean i think yeah. they ought to take those guys out well this guy also them. cut Slice her off no, from no. His, her family you know so as soon as she was married to him she had no longer any contact with her family oh, now God. she has no visitors except her attorney and a psychologist she wore the clothes she was arrested in for almost two weeks until the inmates gave her clothes oh, they ought to make him look at gate cap and reruns. <laughs> That's, a, That's a little severe. Well, I don't know. You weren't a big fan of Gabe Kaplan. No, huh? I didn't have one. Oh, you like him. Oh, yeah, a lot of personality. He even. <laughs> 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 he even ordered her to drop out of high school. It started right then. Get, get out of high school. He made her drop out. Where my Uncle Leon? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, and then since then, yes. <laughs> Where's my Uncle Tony? <laughs> wow. He really ruled with an iron fist is what That's you're saying. That's right. Marla. She was never Jake. allowed to go outside by herself. She lived a life of fear, regimentation, and drudgery, washing clothes by hand. She worked for Steve Leeds. Making Lee. diapers out of rags <laughs> and cooking by candlelight. Really? She did cook by candlelight. Yeah. Huh? And there's going to be a trial. You know what I mean? A guy will show up in a suit and <laughs> then he'll get off. Well, we'll see you about that. I mean? He even beat her after the children were taken out of the home because he blamed her for it. Sounds like Gilbert's life story. <laughs> <laughs> Beating women, taking the children. <laughs> And cooking by candlelight. That's yeah. right. Yes. You this tease. Is a candlelight dinner, right? <laughs> <laughs> what a tease he is, huh? And uh, Ivana Trump apparently is trying to ascend to the throne that was abdicated recently by Leona Helmsley. She could never fill her shoes. What's the throne? <laughs> I mean, she's. She was the her. queen. Of course she is. I mean, the other one's like, forget a time. It's Leona. Over, right? It's over. You like Leona. You know Leona. I don't know Leona. You've met her. She has she has one face. This woman's face is always the same. Do you ever notice that? Every well, no, magazine, you, everything. I mean, you you know Ivana. Ivana, I know. Yeah, yeah. she's terrific. You've been on that boat yet? That yacht? I was on it before he bought it. Oh, when really? It was Khashoggi's. Yacht. Well, you were with yeah. Khashoggi party. Yeah. But don't you don't you find that Khashoggi kind of despicable? Seriously. I don't know enough about that, but I think uh, I love. He to throws have that a good yacht. party. Yeah, yeah he had a good, it was a good party. Yeah, there's something to be said for that. <laughs> it was a good party. Who was on that boat? That must have been incredible, huh? Yeah, that must it was some great. Party. It was a, a great lot of celebrities. Boat. Beautiful. No, no, no. It's just a lot of a lot of good people. A lot, a lot of Q-tips. Yeah, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. Yeah. Well, uh, David, my friend, for you, I have the Q-tips on the buffet. You will never have to see this doctor again as long as you are my friend, Mr. Khashoggi's friend. All right. Uh, uh, he wasn't there, actually. He, oh, really? No, he wasn't there. No. So who was it on the boat? It wasn't a big party. It was really a very small group. Were you guys wearing your bathing suits? Very small group, yeah. 
lot of girls. I just went on, you know, I'm in boats, you know, I'm into boats. Yeah, good looking on girls. This, uh, Come on, tell me about yeah, that. Yeah, there were a few, yeah. What was that all about? Well, nothing. I just happened to see the boat. Did you, you bring know? your girl with you? I didn't have a girl with me. Right. I didn't, you know what I mean? I went on there. <laughs> didn't go with a date that like, day. It was a guy's night out. You know how what much I mean? I sex said, did you have? What do you want to do tonight? He said, let's go over to Khashoggi's boat. Yeah, how much and sex we did you have on that boat? You like little huh? girls, David. Here. <laughs> Here is a five-year-old yes. I just met. Here, she's very clean. <laughs> she's an orphan. <laughs> <laughs> she will never tell on you. Uh, well, anyway, what yeah. they you, say. my friend. <laughs> David, so, I have a young blonde boy <laughs> with his head dipped in 10% solution. <laughs> <laughs> and I, will, I will shove him up your nose. Boy. <laughs> it's amazing how you found out about that. <laughs> You know, I thought like no one else would know. <laughs> but he has to be a real skinny kid. If you had a young I mean, blonde boy kid. with his head in that 10% solution. I, I definitely would put him in my nose. Yes. You would, oh, you? definitely. Really I not. do not have Q-tip. Anyone can get Q-tip. <laughs> this is a boy with his head in the solution. <laughs> <laughs> Tell about the time you were on Khashoggi's boat. The boat crashed. You were on a life raft for 32 days and had to drink your own urine. This is an <laughs> unbelievable story. This is the kind of story. I sent out for urine. Not that's it. There was no, a send out. David, delivered. When you're on Khashoggi's boat, what is that like? What is it, it like? It was an absolutely gorgeous yacht. Yeah. F fantastic. Gorgeous yacht. You know, one and, of the best I've ever and seen. And he loads it with young women because that's what it said. No, in... at that time it was like docked. It was down in Florida. It was just no. there right there on the dock. I just went on the boat, saw the boat, and I was on Oh, the boat. you didn't that like go for a sail? No, there was no party or anything like that. I just saw the boat. I hear Gabe Kaplan was the bus boy. <laughs> 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 yeah. oh, they were, what the hell happened to you, Gabe? <laughs> well, let me just tell you what they're saying oh, yeah. about oh, yeah. Ivana, and you can defend her if you would. No, I will. Inside New York says, nose rings are history at the plaza. Ivana apparently has invoked a um, dress code for all the workers there. And uh, they say because of that, she's probably trying to take over where Leona Helms left off. That's true. Apparently, conditions were so sloppy under the uh, former owners that Ivana felt compelled to issue a 29-page employee handbook, complete with a whole bunch of directives aimed at maintaining a tight ship. But they act like that's a bad thing to that's do. That's great. I mean, I mean that, yeah. that's the number one hotel First, in the First, there's a telephone. New York. All sure. calls must be answered within three rings. That's fabulous. Well, that's great. There yeah. is no stated punishment for failure to do so. Secondly, Ugh. deadly weapons and infectious diseases in the workplace are strictly known. -nos. That's going too far. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's really I mean, I want to have a waiter who's got, like, <laughs> open yeah, sores. You know right. what I mean? On his hands. That's what I want. No read, the one, read the one about no lighting farts in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> no that's a good one. Stop well, it. I can't stay there, then. <laughs> <laughs> Could I just get through this? <laughs> no blue streets, right? No blue streets. No blue streets. <laughs> no blue streets. <laughs> Nose no jewelry is out. What? What's that? Nose jewelry. Oh, right. no. You want this, right? Yeah. <laughs> you want a desk clerk sitting there with 12 pounds of brass hanging No, from but you know nostril. something, Robin? These she's articles. Right. These articles. Right. These, articles right. these articles make it seem like what she's doing is wrong. Is wrong. I, I don't have any problem with anything she said. Let's criminals so with nose rings delivering your food Right. In the they hotel. have a new business. You go into right. a hotel, you want a certain standard. What else is the rule? It's a plaza. Oh, Let's there's no linen abuse anymore. No linen abuse. Oh, no linen abuse. What? Beating up a pillow? What do you mean, linen abuse? <laughs> yeah, linen abuse. What is linen abuse? I abuse linen my abuse linen, means... but that's a whole other thing. No linen should be mixed with rags. No. Oh, wait. A oh, minute. now the woman's gone too far. Yeah, yeah, come anything on. that should cause damage to linen should be avoided. No, that I means... want damaged linen. Look how they're picking on linen. Linen is not to yeah. be yeah. mixed well, they're looking with rags. Yeah. I want damaged linen, nose jewelry, and a guy who has tuberculosis. Use the spoon <laughs> covers or apply to dirty ashtrays. And this is all wrong. Right. As uh, right. to uniform and dress, beards are out. And well, appropriate, attractive attire is Well, what they're, point, are, they're pointing yeah. out that she is now the new bitch. And, but she's, she's not. not. She's but they're not. just Busting going to. Balls. They're she's just, not. you know, they're targeting looking, her. They're looking, yeah, they're they're looking to go after the giant, right? And That's finally, it. you know, she ends with saying, and make sure, don't forget, the most important thing to wear each day is a smile. She, well, no, she's wrong. It mm. makes you unique. That's that's pretty outrageous demands. <laughs> I want to tell you, she's a class lady. In a service she's business. To, and she's going to make that the class hotel it should have been oh. for years. This that's is, what I think. I think she's really a classy lady. This is the kind I of stuff in a motel you should do. <laughs> I think I think shaving pubic hair in the letter T <laughs> is going too far.
Well, you know, uh, I wouldn't allow beards in uh, my radio show because it just uh, was thought of as a scenum. I didn't realize that there are other people also who had beards. Did this any was... Negroes and Jews work on your radio show? Well, no, that was part of uh, the brochure I used to hand out, that no nose jewelry and uh, no Negroes and Jews. <laughs> and, uh, A very short list. And, <laughs> yes. <laughs> was it? No, Not, no 29 pages there. <laughs> no Jews, no Negroes, and make sure to say something about the ecology each day. That's right. <laughs> it makes you unique. And play the ukulele. <laughs> My but of friend. course, uh, but of course, uh, Ivana Trump should do that if they own a new business. They should run it properly. Well, wouldn't you? I mean, the Plaza should have it's very good-looking, well-dressed, right. well-appointed help, and they yeah. shouldn't have linen abuse. And right. they shouldn't have disease. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Although the guests can abuse the linen. Right? I don't think I want the girl who's checking me in to have a ring in her nose. I don't. I really- I don't. I don't want anybody having a ring in their nose, <laughs> quite frankly. <laughs> Although off hours, you can wear a ring in your nose, isn't it, yes. correct? Yes. yes. Otherwise, just yes. sport that big hole. And no one was ringing right. in their ears. No one allowed to work there has a ring in their ears. You think um, <clears throat> clothes pins on the breasts? <laughs> I think that's going too as far? As long as they're covered. I see. <laughs> so you can wear those at work, as yeah, long as they don't sure. distract as you. As long as, as they can't they've be got seen. Clothes how else pins can you hang the them up to dry? Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> that's how I hang up my women to dry. I put some clothes pins in them. Yeah, right. <laughs> Anything else, more. Robin? Just that the Adam Clayton of U2 has avoided being prosecuted on drug charges by giving a large donation to a charity. And he also has a bad back, Robin. Let's Does point that out. <laughs> <laughs> he was caught with enough hashish, Howard, to roll 150 <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> Interestingly really? enough, Adam Clayton. How do they know that? They Adam, Adam, they Adam Clayton is going on MTV right now going, but you know, I got a defender doctor who sent me. You know, yeah. I had a terrible. I had back. a bad back. I had a degenerating <laughs> spinal cord. <laughs> and he sounds an awful lot like David. Yeah, no, he knows you. That's right. But anyway, yes, he will. He it's just will the not voice everyone does to get tried. drugs. Yeah. <laughs> and he has also said there are will... like black junkies who go on TV and go, you know, some ladies and gentlemen, I find a terrible back problem. <laughs> he says he My will name is seek Calvin out help. Johnson, yes. and you know, I live in Harlem, but I got a terrible back problem. I I run. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bad spine. <laughs> You're saying that now all heroin addicts and cocaine addicts yeah. are doing David Byrne impressions? David Byrne. Yeah. Yes, yes they all talk like David. Now. Nothing, David. Your Honor. <laughs> yes, I am Jose Rodriguez. I am. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a terrible back. <laughs> and I don't like Cape Campbell. <laughs> it's the David Byrne defense. That's what they're calling it now. It has its own name. <laughs> well, I'm glad you brought up that Ivana Trump story. I really am. Yeah. I really am. No nose earrings. I believe in that. Yeah, I really think we right. ought to have the yeah, same right. dress code. Well, first of all, you no keep, beards. If you got a hole in your nose, you keep a pencil in there, so you'd be <laughs> quick to write down messages for the guests <laughs> and have somewhere to store those pencils. How <laughs> dare people? Yeah, a ring just clogs that up. <laughs> that's right. Well, Robin. But anyway, don't you think that's a novel way to get out of a drug now, charge to make do- a large donation to a charity? Eh, I don't know. So that was the news, huh? That's what's happening. That's that? what's happening. That was all of it. That's everything we're going to talk about now. Oh, okay. You want to go back in the office and talk some more? <laughs> no, that's no, okay. I'll tell you some more that's later. The whole, that's yeah. the whole news. <laughs> all right, listen. We got to get in some plugs, Robin. Yes. We'll all be working at the club penis. <laughs> Wasn't Bart Giamatti working there before he died? <laughs> the club penis. Oh. <laughs> he died. <laughs> he didn't go over. He died. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> Howard, you can wait at least two weeks, man. Get, get no. Out of here. Oh, okay. All right. Listen, I got to get out of here. He needs a two hour one man show.